Something that I wish I knew a long time ago when it comes to my language and expressing gratitude and radical honesty is that you don't have to express gratitude for things you're not grateful for. Happy Monday, everyone. This week, the only astrological shift is Mercury going into Libra this week on the 26th. And our language and the imperative of radical honesty is on full display. We can't have those like little white lies or those like, oh, you know, like I'm going to lie to God and say that I'm grateful for this, but I'm really not because I want this to happen and I want this to happen. You can't lie to the God of your understanding. In essence, you really got to be honest with yourself. We can't shout from the rooftops all of the things and soapbox our awakening every single day. But when you look in the mirror and you're like, there's probably something that you got to spill out. So this week, what I would recommend for you is really express gratitude for things that you're actually grateful for, not the things that you're in, that you're dealing with, that you're handling, that's eight out of 10 Don't express gratitude for that. You can be salty with your guides sometimes. I want you to recognize that Libra is across the way. It's in opposition of Aries. So they can be violent when they need to be. It's a beautiful thing. They just don't understand the way that Aries go about things. But Libras are just as violent. So it's a good time. It's a good season to be in. But don't choose violence with God. (laughs) Look inward and just be honest with yourself. Be honest in the mirror. Say, this is what I really want. We had the Libra equinox yesterday, so it's going into springtime or it's going into autumn time, wherever you are on the planet. So we're in that change up of a time. But Libra is cardinal air energy. So this is God's coddling. Look forward to the next three months and say, I'm really grateful for this job. It gives me the finances to be able to manifest my dreams. But I'd really love to get paid for my light work. I'd really love to get paid for this thing. I'm in this relationship. It doesn't serve me. So I'm going to be taking steps out of this relationship. I really want to find a partner that matches my energy and matches my vibe. So I'm going to take steps to really remove myself from the situations that don't serve my highest and greatest timeline because I know I'm not in it. It's okay to be in what you're in. If it's not a resounding yes and the vision isn't clear, then be grateful for your fingers and toes. Be grateful for the roof over your head, running water, electricity, access to YouTube or Instagram, wherever you're watching this. We are so blessed. But be very specific with your words. Really invoke radical honesty with yourself. It's okay. If you don't have anything nice to say, you don't say anything at all. But talk to yourself in the mirror. And say to yourself, I love you. You are worthy of what it is that you see and what it is that you seek. Show of hands. I spent pretty much all of yesterday getting download upon download upon download of ideas that I have no idea, no idea how to figure out. But I know it takes team. And I know I don't have to. I also know that God gave me that image. God gave me that mission because I'm a vibrational match for it. It doesn't matter how big it is. It doesn't matter how small. It doesn't matter how wide or how odd or how strange the puzzle piece on the planet you are. You're that puzzle piece. So take up your space. So this week, on a quiet week, in an eclipse bottle, going from that full moon eclipse in Pisces next week to that new moon eclipse in Libra, starting October next week, what is time? What's going on? The only thing I want you to focus on is your language. Mercury is going to be meeting up with Lilith and the sun and everybody's going to be in Libra. So we want to balance those scales. We want everything in the world to be beautiful and cute and wonderful and lovely. Like the mark of a Libra is those dimples. Mm, It's just so gorgeous. So be honest with yourself. Be honest about what you're in. But choose your words wisely. Say, I am grateful for this. We don't have to be grateful for things you're not grateful for. My friends, it's okay to get frustrated and it's okay to say, I'm going that way and talk about the world that you want to create, not unpacking the issues of the world that you want to leave behind. But what do you want? Speak that. Tell me about that. Comment below. What words, what energies, what themes do you really want to channel into this world? Healthy community for me 
I love my community. I honor my community. And I love the role that I get to play as, you know, like the, like the, the wizard, the Gandalf, just like drinking a coffee up in the tower. It's just like, I eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it is my absolute honor to be your fairy godmother, your alien friend, whatever role I play for you. It's an absolute privilege to play it. And that's my focus in this eclipse portal. What's your focus? What are you channeling in? Please reach out if you have any questions and share with the group what you're going through. None of us have all of this figured out. Just be in what you're in and express gratitude for the things you're grateful for. Not the other things, actually what you're grateful for. And starting with fingers and toes, that's a good place to start. Love you.